Hey guys, we're back to Dead Man 1 and 10, and welcome back, finally, to another video. Sorry about, I guess, the lack of recordings, I've just been busy existing at this point. <laughs> but, I'm back at it, like a crack addict, and we're going to be doing some WrestleMania predictions for both Night 1 and Night 2. Because I mostly have no freaking clue what the card is. Mostly. And the two people that are going to be joining me for this are Sammy and Daredevil. Yo. You gonna say hi, Daredevil? Fair enough. He has spoken, ladies and gentlemen. Quite literally. Anyway. The video that we'll be using for this will be Planner's video. Sad news. Anyway. Uh, yeah, he hasn't uploaded it yet, and I haven't really got a lot of time on my belt. But, anyway. Point is, most, one of the reasons being because you and me do that universe mode thing on 2K22 right now. Yeah, we've been, ha we've been having a lot of fun with that. Guys setting up our own universe mode and doing our own little matches, basically trying to book the WWE better than the WWE book the WWE. Pretty much, that's the whole purpose of the, the mode. Which is exactly what the top is going to have. <laughs> as, as we are going to see, well, moments from now, and... Uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun with that. It's been really, really cool. Gotten a couple of legends involved. I've gone out of my way to make a random custom for the occasion. And it really is random, by the way. But, uh... I, I made, I made a random Cody Punk card for the Yeah, he made a random Cody Titan Tron, as you do. I mean, you kind of want to have that, seeing as there's no Cody in 22. But there is in 23! And I've got it! But I can't run it, but I will soon. Yeah, in this lifetime. But, uh, and that's on PC, by the way, guys. But, uh, yeah, because I plan on doing some modding stuff in not too many weeks' time. But, anyway, enough about that whole spiel. That has nothing to do with Mania. Well, it kind of does. But, either way, let's begin is in a couple of days. Here are my predictions. Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to be able to do that because I'm doing it off my PlayStation 4. I could, I could try it with the remote. Yeah, that's what I normally do. Uh, let's see if a 12 is any better. Uh... Any better Jonathan now? takes on Austin Theory for the U.S. Championship to start WrestleMania weekend. Okay. So the first match we've got is uh, our boy, Johnny Boy, the Hollywood man himself, going against his successor, Theory, for the U.S. title. Well, yeah, they're often both yeah. And, see, and Cena even did it himself. Cooking Theory on the mic. Like a menace. Yeah. That's also something that happened. So we went back to COVID. That. Yeah. That probably gave the odd person a bit of depression. But ha hey ho. Point is. But point is. Basically what me and De Devil are saying is. The feud's been. Alright. To say that Cena, Cena hasn't been on a make kit to every show. So it's been alright for what it has been. The match shouldn't be half bad. But unfortunately, i got to go with my brain. I can't really poke my head into the, into the nostalgia wheel as much as I would like to. And based on that theory, no pun intended, we are going with theory for the win to retain... Uh, 
Yeah, we're not going to go there right now. To be fair, Cena did it himself. So at this point, it's a running gag. I swear, every person over this last month has done that at some point or another. I swear. <laughs> exactly. Anyway, Sammy, who do you think is going to come out on top? And what have you thought of the feud? Bearing in mind of Cena's absence. I think John Cena's going to kill him or have him to him. Wait, you think he's going to beat him? No, I think John Cena is going to put over Austin Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I, I was going to say, man, you want the US title to go to Hollywood? Hey, listen, if y'all didn't know, Grew up being a huge fan of John Cena, so... Yeah. Know. Yeah. He was a huge fanboy of him. Hey, so it's hey. pretty understandable. Yeah, it's a dream match between them. Right? Yeah. So this is really the opportunity of a lifetime, and this could be seen as last match, because literally after this, he will have only had two appearing appearances during this whole feud. Literally two. So based on that logic... I think this might be the end of Cena for this match. Yes. There's a rumor of Randy Orton possibly returning. Yep. Bray Wyatt from an unfortunate illness. Mental illness, by the way. I want to make that clear. The oh boneheads. Oh god. Maybe punk. I'm sick of people trying to say that he that he walked out and all that jazz. That makes me wanna bang my head against a brick wall. <laughs> but nevertheless. Point is there's rumours about Alexa returning, Bray returning, Orton returning, and mind bogglingly enough, CM Punk. Yes, you heard me correctly. I am, not, I am not, I am not joking. CM Punk. Uh, at this point, it's unclear. At this point, he's had he's had so much beef with that company that, honestly, uh, honestly, Punk, just come home, buddy. Wait, yeah, 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 you'll you'll be safer. Here, perhaps, maybe. Yeah, yeah. But, but, but Trips is willing to put his personal uh, preferences aside, so it's fine. Listen, Triple H does not like CM Punk whatsoever. Okay. We know. That's why I'm saying he's willing to do that for business. Hey, if he falls out of line, hey, if he falls out of line, we know where he's gonna go. Out the end. Yep, which we will talk about momentarily. So, what have you thought of the thought of the feud, Daredevil? Yeah. Um, personally, I like Jameson. I think Cena should put over the series. And I'm going with the same thing, despite me very tempted to coin with nostalgia. Yeah, nostalgia's great, but he's not going to be around for much longer. So. To be fair, this may be his last time, because like I said, after this match, he will have only made two appearances during this whole feud. Two. Two. One to cook theory, and then hopefully one to put put him over. Well, well actually, since, since you make the joke that he's invincible, actually he's made several appearances. You know, he's invincible. Yeah. So in any case, theory is basically, in theory, no pun intended, facing John Cena. Well, actually, no, 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 he's not facing John Cena. He's facing John Cena. He's facing the invisible man. So he's facing himself. Which is ironic, because that's what he's had to do the whole time. Yep. 
But yeah, the fuse bin, fine for what it has been, obviously. We believe that Fury's going to win, and where will and where this will go, pardon me, where this will go, Cena, Cena will probably go away well, and then Fury will move on to someone else. After losing the Money in the Bank briefcase, let's not forget. Yep. And now he's going up against his biggest challenge ever. What many people consider to be the GOAT. I'm not one of them, but I consider him one of, without a doubt. Yeah, not like, not like him versus Reigns, where he won with, with one spear. Wait, is that really what happened? Yes. Yeah. Yes. I'm surprised you didn't know that, or remember that. I thought he had like two spears. Nope. He sent him Good packing. Man. Wait, which, which, uh, which, which Scorpio match was that? The. Nope. It was, uh, yeah, SummerSlam. The current Roman? Yep. The Joker. Yes. What is God well, Tell that to, to, tell that to the WWE or to Roman. I'm afraid to tell it to Roman because they're afraid to get the, the, They don't give single dams. Cena's time is up. And the new generation's time is now. Well, maybe not for Roman, but still. All in favor. I'm gonna raise I'm gonna pretend to raise your hand, Sammy, because well, you said that you agree anyway. Yeah. And oh. years old um he has so much potential and you know him losing to john cena at wrestlemania that's him losing to whoever he faced last year was already kind of embarrassing who did he face last year uh, pat mcafee oh yeah that match oh yeah so i think him beating john cena should you know make up for that loss from last year yeah. well well think about it I, I love pat mcafee as much as the next guy but he's not as big of a deal as John Cena. Yeah. Like I, I love the guy. Don't get me wrong. He's one of the greatest commentators on this planet Earth. But he's not like Cena. I mean, no one well, that's obvious. Although Fury's trying, and he's very trying. He's a better version of Cena, in my opinion. No, he's not. <laughs> He, he's in that phase, phase of ruthless aggression, as Cena said himself. He wants to be John Cena. Fanboy. He's in the stage of ruthless aggression with sunglasses. That's different. <laughs> True. Cena had generic attire number 99. I don't know. In his prime. I'm not saying he's not talented, but he's nowhere near like as John Cena was. In his prime. Why do you keep saying in his prime? Well, obviously that was when he carried the damn company for ten years straight and longer. <laughs> I mean, you remember Super Cena? Not that you want to. Yeah. We don't talk about that. Yeah, Fury would have been sent to Fury would have been sent to school in seconds. This is literally yep. super scene. Kick out of two. Have a comeback. Yeah. One, two, three. 
The five moves of doom. Or was it? Yeah, exactly. Anyway, on to the next match. Fury's winning. Feud has been all right. And uh, and Cena's going to go away well. And Fury's going to move on with his life. Yeah, but it takes two to tango. Well, two after tango, because majority of the people just see it as absolutely not. Well, te technically not, if you count Raw when he was, well, not with an audience. <laughs> but anyway, moving on to the next match, because we've gone on about this for a little while now. The segment between these two was really great stuff. Unfortunately, nothing happened other than Austin Theory telling the audience that he's going to defeat John Cena, which, I mean, you could guess is what he should be doing. Despite the build-up being lackluster, I'm still excited for this match because it's John... Yeah, like, the, the feud could totally suck, but we would still be happy about seeing Cena in a wrestling ring. Because it's a rarity at this point. You feel him, Miss Sammy? Sammy? Hello? Did, did you hear what I was saying? Hello? Hello? Did, did you hear what I said? No, I, you cut out for a bit. Oh. Basically what I was saying is the feud could suck, but we would still be happy to see Cena, because he ain't in a wrestling ring all that often anymore. I think the feud... Apparently, yeah, we can agree with that. Anyway, moving on. On freaking Cena, and we don't really see him often. He's probably incredibly busy with the schedule, so WWE really didn't have a choice with the storyline. You can't be mad at Triple H. You can't be mad at John Cena. You gotta accept it for what it is. My prediction for the those fans are retards. Simple as that. Excuse my French. Because you don't understand that these people are human beings. <sighs> Good grief. It's the same thing like with what happened recently with, re with fans stalking Re. Liz for autographs. Go and get a life. Seriously. It's not hard. <laughs> that is appalling. I will never forgive the people who literally unmask for it. That's the guy's culture for crying out loud. That's like taking away someone's dignity. They probably already did with Rey Mysterio. Hey, to be fair, he hit his son. So, what does that tell you? <laughs> anyway, moving on. Uh, sorry for the mini rant. Match is that John Cena will defeat Austin Theory to become, at the very least, the U.S. champion, and this is going to lead to a theory who becomes obsessed <laughs> with a rematch and goes through the grieving process. I, I don't, I, I don't agree with you, Plana. Get out the kitchen. Just to handle that loss. Eventually, he'll get a victory and a rematch down the line. And as for John Cena and the U.S. title, he'll lose that championship on the Raw after Mania and his U.S. Open Challenge with their return. Or he, he's letting nostalgia do that. I, 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 I would love for nostalgia to do that, but I'm not blind. Well, I am because I wear glasses, but that's not the point. But even then, like, that's not the point. I'm not figuratively blind. 
or debut of somebody. Maybe a Braun Breaker. I don't know. Yeah. I guess. Social media star Logan Paul. Rollins is winning. Get out of town, Logan Paul. I don't care if it's your birthday. Yeah. Yep. Because of, because apparently his contract is up finally. Totally not biased. <laughs> oh yeah, the guy can go. The guy can make you hate him because he's already done that. But you can only go, you, you can only go so far with that. I mean, it was Roman Reigns, the GOAT of today. Oh, yeah. That would be a great way to take him out of the equation. Yeah. Yeah, the feud has been very good. That back and forth has been awesome. But, uh, even though we all, even though we already do, Collectively, all three of us. I, I assume that's right, right, Sammy? Yep. Yeah. Okay, good. I, I, I was making sure for a minute. <laughs> but, yeah. And then he came back for that sucker punch. <laughs> Thank you, Sacred. You're even more of a better human being than Paul is. Oh yeah, he 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 messed with uh, with Logan Paul's talk show. Thank you, Seth. That was very impulsive, but for the right reasons. Yeah, he would have been in like the Titantron area. So like in the production truck, basically. Yeah. Surprised they let him in there, <laughs> by the way. But I suppose it makes sense, because he is Seth freaking Rollins. But, yeah. So, feud's been good. Match should be great. Go away, Logan. Have Seth win. Go home. Go home, Logan Paul. Yeah. We don't want you. We don't want you. We don't want you. God, I'm being very mean. <laughs> uh, that's literally what Roman got for years. And then Roman had to mush them up a bit. I remember that. I remember that. That was great. Because he wasn't reading from a script. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Now he doesn't do Jack with that. He just says whatever the hell he wants. In that kind of context. Anyway, moving on. Well, takes on wrestling star Seth Rollins, and the feud between these two has been pretty solid. I've been enjoying the segments with them on Raw. Logan Paul turning heel was the best thing to happen to his wrestling career because he's a much better fit as a villain. It feels a lot more authentic. I wonder why. I'm pretty. Yeah, I wonder too. I. Is it because he mocked somebody's death and laughed about it? Hmm. Hmm. And how he's literally brainwashing the youth better than Eminem could ever do. He, he, li he, he literally put that in his music one time, Eminem did, about the factor of him brainwashing the youth. That's quite funny, actually. But same, but 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 Logan Paul does it in spades, which is not good, by the way. Predicting that Seth Rollins is going to defeat Logan Paul because he really needs a win. Like honestly, Seth Rollins has been losing a lot in the last few years. This feud is probably going to come to an end after this match because there's really not much else to do with these two. So you might as well. Oh, and they're also ri rivals in real life. To, to. Yeah. So this makes it even better. Jinx. So Seth's gonna run 
Logan Paul out of out of the dub on his birthday. You couldn't have planned this shit any better. Joe might as well go some good shots at each other. Yeah. I mean, Lo Logan's a boxer. Seth can try. Oh, this is going to be a great match. Yeah. They're going to screw each other up. Okay, now I'm really excited for this match. <laughs> One thing, and it changes the whole bowl game. Literally. Wow. And proverbially. We'll move on. Yep. Real this... This match is not main eventing, and I repeat, this match is not main eventing, I hope. We have Charlotte versus Rhea. Great feud. Loved the moment with Charlotte and Dom. That was freaking hilarious. But... I like their brawl. Yeah, exactly, that too. But, not worthy enough to main event. And Rhea's gonna walk out on top. That's what I believe. Yeah. We just gotta wait for Daredevil because apparently he's left for some reason. Um, can you reach out to him now? Uh, and where we'll go from here, I don't really know. To be honest, guys. And as for Seth versus Logan, Paul, what will happen is Logan will leave, hopefully, and never show his face in in our, our in our passion of yes. And our passion of this sport. And Seth is going to move on to something else. I don't know what. Yes. To do big, big and better things. Yeah. Than Logan could ever do. In his entire life. Yes. God, we have been straight shooting. <laughs> Quite literally. Yep, well deserved. He made fun of someone's death. He did something in some country. I can't remember what. Isn't that kind of psychotic? Hey, he's back. Yeah, it is psychotic, okay. and it's a bit of a dick move. <laughs> no, but uh, yeah, but mind my French guys, Banjo. Saying it how it is. But yeah, glad to see that you're back, Daredevil. Okay, Charlotte, Rhea, what, what, what are you, what, what are you going to go for for this match? Who's... Okay, so he's going for Rhea. What do you think of the feud? Well, I mean combined. Because again, it takes two to tango. True. I mean, she is Rhea Bloody Ripley, after all. But again, I mean, I love the Dom segment. That was funny. Yeah. What do you What do you think? What? Yeah. What What do you mean, Daredevil? Yeah. They got robbed out of a match uh, thanks to COVID. This is really their redemption. Never mind Demon Kings. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll focus on that later. But, uh, yeah. Well, it was at 36, I think. Yeah. Three years ago. Which is insane to me. Anyway, time has uh, obviously moved and we've got a different real Ripley. But, yeah. Let's move on to the next match. Ripley is taking on...
And I agree too. Charlotte Flair in a wrestling rematch. The last time these two ladies fought, it was at WrestleMania 36 during the beginning of the pandemic and they were robbed of an audience, a crowd, and there's nobody in attendance. It was one of the best matches of that weekend. So I am glad that they are running it back again this time around with fans. Rhea Ripley is also going to finally get her revenge because I say she's winning that match. Thank Triple you. Triple H did tell the wrestling fans that she would get her victory once one day and three years later and it's finally going to happen so from moments of oh, you at freaking masterpieces advert. to laughing till you cry with go away long-term storytelling with thank you this is long-term storytelling at its finest so Rhea Ripley oh, yes. is going to become the new smackdown women's champion oh yes father and son ray versus dom Uh, yes, we can hear you, yes, and so hear you. and this is actually the perfect time to bring this up. Congratulations to Ray, Stacy Keebler, and who's that guy who used to spit out stuff? Uh, the Great Muda. Yeah, the Great Muda. Don't know a lot about him. Looking forward to hearing the stories for going into yeah for going into the Hall of Fame this year. Well deserved, I bet, for all three. When is the Hall of Fame? Uh, it's after SmackDown. Yeah, okay. So it's tonight. Yeah, we're wow. Watch, yeah. I would, but I sadly can't. But I will watch it just before uh, Mania. Yeah. Yeah, basically. But, yeah, so, congratulations to them. Hope something to do with Ray happens at the Hall of Fame. That would be cool. And then get Edge and Charlotte involved. To show how much of a... To show how much of a riot the Judgment Day have caused. Well, Cody hasn't really done much with Judgment Day, if anything. I suppose you can take the nails to Damien Priest. I mean, Damien needs. I mean, Damien Priest needs someone to fight. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of depressing. He has become an afterthought now. The poor bugger. I'm not sure, but point is. But point is. The, the feud has been awesome. Ray hit his son. Which I'm happy. Child abuse for the win. I guess. Yes. <laughs> well, Ray does because he did it. He didn't hit himself. <laughs> well, he didn't, did he? But, yeah. In, in all seriousness, guys, the, the feud has been great. The match shouldn't be half bad. Hope something happens at the Hall of Fame and Dom should walk out on top because I think this is going to act as Ray's retirement match considering of, the fact, considering of the fact that he's in the Hall of Fame or going into it tonight as of this recording. Dom. I may not like Dom Dom, but he's kind of the younger one. So. Ooh. Okay. Well, then having Ray win would be the obvious thing. Well, you wouldn't expect Ray to. You... Well, that that's not the point, Sammy. You wouldn't expect Ray to just suddenly go after his son because of a loss. Whereas on the other side of the table. But this is Hunter. Hunter has logic. Vince doesn't. And by the way, Vince, don't you dare come back at WrestleMania. Don't you dare. Enjoy your retirement. 
Well, if you even have it anyway. I don't know. Yeah. We, we need to start... We, we need to start a chant, a chant called Stay home! Stay home! Stay home! <laughs> That's... <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Okay. Yeah, uh, 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 and furthermore, if all that wasn't enough, he has done great character work in his defense. With, with, with the low rider, no less. Oh, man. Imagine the heel heat. People are going to be roaring with booze. Hell yeah. Because you know in real life them two care about Eddie dearly. Everyone does. Yeah. Surely, have, surely they have a spare of those load riders. Or, or maybe, or maybe better yet, maybe Ray kept one as a souvenir. Yes, that was a few days after Eddie's passing. Oh, that's brutal. oh yes. Uh, to be fair, Orton, to, to be fair, Orton did a lot of things messed up in his day, but there you go. Yep, he made a career out of f fiving. I mean, not f fiving. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't know. It's been a long day. <laughs> uh, uh, RKOing, uh, RKOing women like Stacy Keebler. Thank you, Stacy, for your service. If there, if there's one thing you deserve a Hall of Fame induction for, hon, it's for the, it's for taking that hot RKO. But in all seriousness, congratulations, or congratulations. But yeah. Anyway, we're we're going off on a tangent. So yeah. Dom's winning. Feud has been great. And I believe this will act as Ray's retirement match. But we shall see. The only thing that makes this feud better is if they beat you up, dead man. <laughs> oh, yes. Good shout. Oh, yeah. There, there's been a few home invasions as well. Let me just go in there. <laughs> and beat up my father on Thanksgiving. Christmas and spoil his Valentine's Day. Thank you, Dom. You, 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 you didn't make me feel bad about not having a Valentine. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you dearly. Yeah, earlier today they uploaded, WWE uploaded a video of me and uh, Dom destroying a bunch of their guests. Cool. I've got to see that. Okay, well. Rhea and Dom are being savages as well, trying to destroy WWE shop. I, I, I just hope that my damn toys isn't at that, at that place right now, because also he may be screwed. <laughs> okay. I, I just hope that uh, that my damn toys isn't there, or else he may get assaulted. Because he is literally going to be at the show. No kidding. Sh shout out to you, my damn toys. You, you legend. But yeah, yeah. That that was kind of your fault. <laughs> well, well, you brought up WWE shop. <laughs> but Rhea Ripley's been a part of the feud. Uh, anyway, point is. There's been a few shenanigans that have happened as well, so, yeah. <laughs> yep, apparently. So yeah, Dom's winning, Feud has been out of this world, and I hope it doesn't end, but I feel like it will be Ray's retirement match, based on the way that they're building it up. Okay, so, if, if Dom's gonna win, how do you have him win? Do you have him win clean, or do you have him... 
I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next match. And uh, Sammy, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I never left. Uh, did you hear everything that we just said? Yeah, I did. It was just so interesting. It got to the point where I just had to let you two go at it. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. A bit dark. But then again, this has already gotten dark. So, what's the deal? It couldn't get any worse than this, could it? No, I mean, it probably could. When it, when it comes to WrestleMania, we, we will probably get some dark matches. Oh, my God. We've definitely got to pump out those, those party tunes. <laughs> I, I also plan on invite seeing a close friend of mine to join in with the whole shindig, which is why I'll be basically having that take place in my server, because it will be more easy that way. Yeah. So, there you go. Anyway, moving on. Rey Mysterio finally hit his kid, and I couldn't be more... Uh, and that's for both nights, by the way. ...more excited. These two are set to face off at WrestleMania, a father versus son match for a feud that's been going on since last summer, and Rey Mysterio needs to win. Why? I'll tell you why. Because Dominic Mysterio needs to close line from hell. Needs to lose his mind. Or close, or close line from Judgment Day. Get it? <laughs> That's even better. And attack Rey Mysterio the following night. Because Backlash yeah. is in Puerto Rico and Bad Bunny is hosting the event. And I want to see Bad Bunny team up with Rey Mysterio to wrestle Dominic Mysterio and Finn Balor. Therefore, Rey needs to win at WrestleMania for Dom to continue to assault him. And that is when Bad Bunny will come to the rescue for his idol, Rey Mysterio, and tag team with him. That'll be a dope match. I want to see that happen. That would be fun, but if Bad... Bunny was really that that caring. He would have went. He would have got in the feud a long time ago. Like you know, when the home invasion started to happen. Yeah. But whatever. Let Let's just forget that that's not factual. Oh my Becky God. Lynch. Wow. Wow. You are a bold human being, Daredevil. <laughs> True. One of those things isn't like the other. Except, no. Roman is like that in character. Logan is like, is like it out of character. Because he is that. Logan is that. In real life, you said about Roman. Roman is in, Roman is in in character. Logan is out of character. Yeah. So there you go. Roman Reigns is a character. Logan Paul is not a character at all. <laughs> I mean, he's fine when he tries to, you know, piss you off, but still, yeah. we already know how that is. Anyway, moving on. Okay. Becky versus... I mean, Becky and the Hall of Famers. The greatest women superstars of all time. Don't at me. Versus Damage Control. And considering of the rumoured Trish heel turn, which I don't and do want to happen, we've got to go with Damage Control. Even though they're not doing anything. Thanks for the heads up, Becky. So, this feud's been going on for a while. I think they've been feuding way before Survivor Series. Um, yeah. I've been liking the feud. You know, I think Becky and Bailey are great performers, and so are Dakota and Io Shirai. Um, yeah. I'm going to go with Damage Control here. Because you, you forgot about Trish and Lita. I'll get to them in a second. <laughs> I was like, how, did you, how could you forget? They're the, about them, right? they're, they're the goats. <laughs> well, yeah, they are. They are. Well, I'll get to them in a second. Okay. Okay. Right, damage, damage control needs this win because I feel like they haven't won any big matches at all. And Becky even said it herself. 
Yeah, which is so, pretty, which is pretty embarrassing, but true. Yeah, she um, she was straight shooting. That didn't feel scripted by that point. Hey, hey, last name is Dog. But I feel like I want Trish Stratus and Lita to turn heel. Ooh. That's an interesting idea. They... Great heel turn from both ladies. Wow. Well, that could just be her being humble. I don't think it well, is. She just... I... Why not? I, don't... I think it's something else. I think they're setting a heel for it. True. That is rumored. The way I would. Okay, go ahead. Oh, no, you go ahead. No, no, no. That's all I had to say. <laughs> um, well, I would love for Trish Strat to turn heel, but I just think it would be even better if it was both because. You know, let's yeah. not forget that Trish Alita fought Becky Lynch last year, and I'm pretty sure she still wants to rent for that. That would be a hell of a swerve if that happened, where both of them so, did it. So, it would be, like you said, Demon, a swerve if it's both of them, but hey, I'm still down for if it's just Trish Stratus turning heel. Yeah. yeah. teams with Lita and Trish Stratus to wrestle damage control and this is going to be a fun match. There's a lot of talent in that ring. For instance, Becky Lynch is at the top of her game right now. Bayley is one of the best in the industry. Trish Stratus and Lita are Hall of Famers for a reason. They are the two best women wrestlers in the history of this business in my opinion. And then Dakota Kai and Io Sky are very talented. So this is going to be a good one and damage control is definitely winning with Trish Stratus probably turning heel on Becky Lynch and I can't wait for that heel run in that feud with Becky and Trish Stratus for SummerSlam. Yeah, I believe that Damage Control are gonna walk out with a win. For once in their life. Yes! It's a miracle! Okay, okay, I, I knew you were gonna say that. <laughs> It, it don't mean anything at this point. It's way bigger than that. You're being the man and two Hall of Famers. Simple as that. It's way bigger than that for them now. Slam of this year. There's going to be a men's showcase match. It's feud. There is none. Winners going to be street. Winner. Winners are going to be Street Profits, and nothing's going to end up of it. Bingo. Nevertheless. The only thing that I can probably give credit to, Ricochet and Montez are probably going to outkick them. Oh yeah, that's going to happen. I don't know why I said nevertheless, but either way, that's the only good thing that's going to come out of the match, because the feud is non-existent, the match will be fine, but nothing's going to end up of it. So... Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What's your take on it, Sammy? Um, I don't care about this match. Um, <laughs> okay. The match will be fine. Uh, enough said, really. The match will be fine. I'm going with Street Profits or Braun Strowman Ricochet. Um, but other than that, there's no feud here. Yeah. yeah enough said, really. Yeah, moving on. This is just a waste of time. It's going to feature four tag teams. You've got Ricochet and Braun Strowman, the Street Profits, Alpha Academy, and the... All this match does is for their wallets. That's all it does. All, all it does is just put more stupid stars on Mania. Like, literally all it does. That too. Viking Raider. Raider is like, oh, you're not on Mania? Oh, here's a, here's a tag team match. Yeah. 
to get that WrestleMania payday. Like I, like I said, the only thing it benefits is these guys' wallets. Considering that they get paid for this stuff. I predict that Braun and Ricochet are going to win and there's really not much else to say about this match other than it's going to be you know good and have its highlights but there's really no story it's just a fun match the Usos will be defending here's a match that I actually care about and I repeat this twice this yes this will be the main event mark my words I'm going to start a riot. Yeah. A year-long feud, by the way. Well, I mean... On one hand, I agree with you because it's been going on for longer. But on another, I don't. Because for the worldwide kind of like casual audience, they're going to be hooked to Roman and Cody, much like Cena and Fury. Yeah, but speaking of storylines. Story oh, yeah, without a doubt. That's where I agree with you. This is the biggest storyline in WrestleMania for this weekend. Yeah, of course. Yeah. That's what I meant. Yeah, I. If the match is good, it won't. If the match is great, then it won't be that bad. Yeah, but I still think this would be the match. Yeah, it don't matter what Charlotte and Rhea do. These guys were deserving of it ever since Sammy pulled the trigger on Roman. Okay, uh, Deadly, we're gonna skip your opinion for now. Let's get to Cody. Okay. Uh, what do you got to say, Sammy? The stage is yours. Wait, wait, what? Yeah, uh, what are we talking we, about here? Uh, we're talking about who you got, like, for to win. Oh, okay. Sammy and Kevin, all the way. Uh, okay. Okay. I'm in it. You're in it, Daredevil. All three of us think that they should main event. The feud has been freaking awesome, and. Don't know where we'll go from here, but at this point, I don't even care. I don't care. Okay, there's that. But that's about it, really. For now. Moving on, anyway. Their tag team championships against Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. This is the strongest storyline heading into WrestleMania. I still think WWE should have waited until WrestleMania to actually have Kevin Owens come down and join Sami Zayn. I feel like it would have led to a massive pop at WrestleMania. Regardless though, it's been a great story that's been going on for a year now. This is the match that should main event the first night. And not Thank only you. because of its great story, but because it has the potential to steal the show. Ah! Go away! Go away, Therefore, Adler. It's a no-brainer. Jess Glynn, you're a good singer, but this isn't about you. Sorry, hon. WWE should have these guys close out the first night with two brand new champions, and I think that is going to happen as it should. Gunther is putting the IC Championship on. These guys are going to wreck each other. Simple as that. It, it has the it has the potential to be up there. Um, I guarantee you this match will steal the freaking show. Well, we'll just have to wait and see. Yeah. All right, come back to me after the match is done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but well, well, I need to get your take on the feud and and where we'll go from here. Chemistry, and I think they're gonna kill it. What? What? What do you think will go from here? 
I said I think Zeppelin's gonna win. No, I know that. I mean, after he wins. If he wins. Um, listen, Gunther is to continue being a very dominant champion, like he was on NXT UK. So, and I heard that Triple H is gonna give him a massive push. Probably be in the world title soon. Probably by next year. So, let's keep him, you know. Okay. Keep him look dominant. To be fair, he has been one of my favorite wrestlers on the main rock right now. I absolutely freaking love this guy. The, because he's not a guy from the coffee shop. He's not a guy from Friends. Like I said, he would chop Friends in horror if he really wanted to. Case in point with Drew and Sheamus. Although technically they're former friends now, but still. So, yeah. Unfortunately. Exactly. Thank you, Sammy. Well, I say Walter. Because it doesn't sound as, as strange. Plus, it's just how I pronounce it. So you can't really take that away from me. But anyway. But again, he's not a guy from the coffee shop. I can't envision him that way. Well, technically, Adam from Pot of Unknown said it. And I'm in agreement with the guy. He's not. He's not a guy from Friends. He is a guy from Friends. Does this guy look like a guy who's going to host a coffee shop with that mug? No. With that mug? He looks like he's going to chop people to Narnia. Case in point with she Seamus and Drew. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, 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 let, just let him believe what he wants to believe. It's Walter. It's Gunther. It's Walter. You know what? We're going to have to come to this another day. Yes. <laughs> yes. Because yes. we're not doing this in my video because this is nearly an hour long already. So, there you go. Anyway, feud has been great. Walter will win. Because, I swear to God, Daredevil. Does he look like he owns a coffee shop? I mean, he, he could. He may own your chest, but not a coffee shop. <laughs> wow. We're, we're supposed to be young adults and we're literally fighting like kids on the playground over a name change. A name change! Well, it is to me, but we're going to move on. Point is... But it irritates me! Well, that person ain't me. <laughs> Walter, feud has been great, and Walter should continue being a being a, a what's it being a champ and chopping every and chopping everyone in his path. I'm glad you said this because if you said Drew McIntyre, then I was gonna have a little, you know, back and forth with you. <laughs> Okay, let's hear what you got to say. What do you say to that, Sammy? Okay, he already had his moment last year. He already had his moment at WrestleMania 36, okay? It was a different time period. It already passed, so let's move on. <laughs> but, ha, ha, 
How, how about, Drew, you go and try, and try and get one more match of, out of The Undertaker. See how that works out for you. I literally saw that on Facebook as well. Freaking Facebook. If they wanted Drew McIntyre to win a big title in front of the crowd, then they could have pulled that trigger last year. I playing Clash of the Castle, whatever that paper you was. Yeah, it was that. That could have been a perfect time, but they didn't pull the trigger. But instead... What trigger? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I mean, whatever. I mean, whatever. I, I mean, if Walter gets pushed up to, to the main event, seeing them fine. Whatever. But if he doesn't, then that's a mistake. As long as Gunther doesn't get, no, Walter doesn't get pinned, okay? <laughs> you start to become one of them. We will never be! <laughs> Sounds like Dom and Eddie. <laughs> anyway. If, if Walter loses, then I hope it's because it's going to be in a, in a world title thing. That's it. Yeah. If, if not, no. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Which I think Triple H does want to do, so... Maybe we might get our wish. Right, but we could get either Cody. I don't know how Cody would work in that spot. You know, Cody can get Cody. I can't hear you. I, sorry, my bad. I said if oh, good. Roman wins. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, you're good. Okay, if Roman wins, which he probably won't. <laughs> <laughs> but if we also did that for our universe mode as well, guys. Just a, yeah, just a cheap blog there. Yeah. Um, uh, if Cody wins, which I, I, I doubt that he will, but if he does, then I feel like we just don't need Cody for the main event. I doubt that they break the Edge of Roman's head with that. He's walked a thousand miles more than he's walked a thousand days. Put it that way. In my opinion, I don't think so. We'll get to that later, but... Yeah. He's already a made guy. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. But, um, I was going to say, if Cody wins, we could have Cody versus Walter. Ooh, yeah. That, that would be a great match. They actually had a mini... Yeah, they had a mini match at the Rumble. Yeah, the Rumble was brutal. Yeah. Uh, Walter was determined to chop that peck. Good lord. Cody's a kick Cody's a battle a battle tested warrior. What can I say? He's not gonna like he's not gonna get to listen to his own theme song. That's just sad. Yeah, fair enough. But then again, that's just the nature of wrestling it. I would imagine so. So yeah, he's been great. Walter's winning. If he doesn't, put him up in the main event scene. And I don't know what you do after either of those, to be honest. Yeah, let's hear what Piranha has to say. Alrighty. On the line in a triple threat match with Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. This is a recipe for success. Sheamus and Gunther already have tons of chemistry as we saw from their banger match at Clash oh, hell at the Castle. Yeah. And the same goes for Sheamus and Drew McIntyre. They battled tons of times and it was never a bad match. When you add all three of these guys in one match, you know it's going to be something special. I predict that Drew McIntyre will walk out as the new IC champion because he hasn't done much in the last couple of years and he needs a big win and this is a big win and make him have a great title reign as well. And then Gunther is going to move on to the main event scene. The Demon is returning and to And here we go. We got the Hall of Famer, the Rated R Superstar. Edge versus Demon King Balor. Don't let that don't don't let that mock up fool you. You are getting the demon. Inside of 
hell in a cell with with a possible gang role return to back up edge and something else that's also returning is the steel hell in a cell cage not the red box which i'm glad Oh yes, and hopefully you will be in purple. I really, really hope. Okay, this feud's been great. They've been feuding for like over the past year. Yeah, this has been amazing. Um, I like that they involved Beth Phoenix and her little clashes, um, with uh, Rhea. Um, yeah. Yes. Yes, it's been amazing. That was that elimination chamber, by the way. Match was great. Didn't get to do my review on it, unfortunately, but the mixed tag team match was great. Yes, and no, I don't think I did. Yeah, I was on a holiday at that time, so yeah, sad times. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of Finn Balor, and. Um, I think that he still has more to do in the main roster because we all know that the main roster has not been his best suit. And but I think Triple H still wants to pull the trigger on pushing Finn Balor again. And I think that this is the night that they should do it. And he should be fit um, Edge. As much as I would love Edge to to win, yeah, we kind of got to go with Finn. Sorry, Edge. I'm really sorry. I'm sorry. I really am. I feel terrible now. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Th this may be his final WrestleMania match, but that doesn't really change anything. But, hey. Uh, uh, at least... Well, it might be. But, hey. Look at it this way. At least he's not facing a criminal like Alberto Del Rio. At least he's facing Finn Balor. Inside of Hell in a Cell, one of Edge's match types. Fair enough. So this is actually better for him. The reason I'm not saying the Edge gonna win is because personally, my opinion. I think that this this You didn't hurt Jack you didn't hear Jack, man. Just keep the keep the mouth moving. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we, we we don't talk about that crotching incident. David, do you talk about that incident when the demon went out to Edge? Wait, what are we talking about? The demon. Going out sad. Reigns. Against who? Roman Reigns. Going out sad. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Let's, let, let's pretend that never happened. Yeah, I, I, I literally had... Demon King on 2K20 to be a 99 overall. Completely forgot, completely forget about the fact that he lost to Roman. That's a good thing. Yeah. Never happened. I, I, I remember Roman is in, but not Demon when he comes to Edge. Yeah. That wasn't the real Demon. That was just a guy in face paint. Ha! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the demon didn't bring his mojo that night. He wasn't feeling very oozy. <laughs> oh man. So most of us are in agreement with Finn. Yep. Are you Sammy? Yep. yep. So yeah. So yeah, the feud has been freaking amazing. If if this wait, you wanted to say something, right? Yeah, I did. Okay. I did say that as well. I also kind of hope they also uh, film currently because it's like kind of weird seeing Finn be Finn. I wonder how they would do that. I don't know. I mean, they did it with you know Demon Storm before, so it's like okay, come on, you know, go ahead. True. But yeah, the 
I guess it wouldn't be that hard for them. But yeah, the feud has been amazing. If this is Edge's last WrestleMania match, then what a way to go out on for Edge. Oh yeah, we're getting Brood Edge back as well. Let's not forget about that. Oh, yeah. Uh, honestly, get Edge to do all of his spots. Who cares if his, ne if his neck has been fused twice? Who cares about his age? The guy looks good. He can still go. So just... Yeah. Okay, maybe not that. There, there's there, there, there's got to be lines. And, I'm, and I was on about his, his signature spots, by the way. So, like, the chair thing. Like, the concerto. Like, the spear. Like the execution, like the edgematic, like the execution, if I didn't already say that, like the sharp, like the crossface, that's the one. Like, ha having to do a flying spear through. Yeah, that's the one. Ha have him, uh, have him do a flying, uh, like, have him do a flying move over the ropes or through the ropes into Balor, into the Hell in a Cell. Like, have him do a spear through there. Like, literally, just get him go all... Just get him to go all out, basically. Yeah. Because if this is... Because if this is Edge's last time in the in a Mania match, you gotta do it. I mean, the guy more than deserves it. Anyway, moving on. And I don't know what will happen with the feud moving forward, to be honest. I think... Yeah, it probably should. And then Edge can go away for a while to recuperate based on what I just said. What about you, Sammy? Wait, I'm sorry, what was that? Yes. Okay. In that case, moving on. Oh, yeah, good point. Finn, could, could you do us a favor, mate, and during these next few hours, come up with a reason for attacking Edge, please? Yeah, that'll make things a lot more easier, instead of using the demon to get away with it. <laughs> exactly. Alrighty. Indeed. <laughs> anyway, moving on. Edge inside the hell in a cell. This is another feud that has been going on for a year now. And I love how long-term storytelling is a thing now. If this was Vince McMahon and he was still booking things... Ed yeah, you gotta love the long-term storytelling. It's amazing. I don't know. Edge would probably be wrestling Drew McIntyre in a random match with two weeks of a buildup, and Finn Balor, on the other hand, would be on the pre-show yep. against the Viking Raiders. But thankfully, because of Hunter, these two have been beefing for a while now, so this Hell in a Cell makes a lot of sense. It's needed, and it feels very yep, important. Sammy. Edge even wants the best version of Balor and Colt out the demon. Sammy. This match is going to be crazy, yeah. and I think Edge I has got to win to truly end this story. Don't agree with that, but moving on. Brock Lesnar versus Omos is a match everyone. Okay, we got a match that. Okay. Uh, what's your thoughts on it, Sammy? I'm honestly very disappointed that we got this match. Because Th this had Vince all over it. Because I feel like nobody cares about this match, and neither do I. Um, I wanted Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar or something well, else, but... Well, you do realize why they changed that, right? Because Bray had a, a plan with the big guy. Yeah, yeah I know, but... 
from us, and this match is gonna suck. And um, yeah, that that plan by Bray was not a good one, but sadly, this isn't going to be any better. The the stats, the, I'll admit that the stats thing was pretty cool, but apart from that, there's nothing else building hype to this. Yes. Yeah. Have Brock deliver an F5, and we'll be all cool. I'm sure it'll be good, man. It's like just felt good. Yeah. It'll be the same level of uh, of good as his match with Bobby and Braun was, in the case of Omos. Yeah. Um, and the, the next match is Oscar and Bianca. The build up is like, I don't think that the build up sucks. Let's see what it is. And where we'll go from here. I really don't know, to be honest. What is it? Worst build up for WrestleMania in the last year. Point is, the build up was semi okay. The match should be fine, but let's just get it over with. There you go. Anyway, moving on. Is that is that the tune that you're singing, Daredevil and Sammy? What's the question? For Omos and, and uh, Lesnar, is that the tune that you're singing for everything that I just said? Um, yeah, I guess. I'm going with rock. Um, cool. And yeah. As am I. I'm sure we'll get some cool stuff, but I just have to admit it's like... Hmm. One is dying to see. This is like The Rock versus John Cena from 2012. This is how hyped everyone is for this match. I'm starting to believe that this is a bit of sarcasm. This is a lot of sarcasm. <laughs> yeah, I, I could, I could never put on the, this sarcasm in my wildest dreams, and yet I could try. Actually, actually no. The, oh yeah, this is being hyped to up like Bret Hart versus. Yeah, that one. Or The Rock versus Stone. Cold part three. There you go. That's my sarcasm for you. I I'm I'm not paid by the hour, guys, for that, or at all. Brock Lesnar has never seen so a competitor like Omos, a seven foot three giant with okay. absolute brute force in every strike. And I think this match is going to slap. Omos versus Lashley. Was oh, and by the way, Omos. Just to let you know, you can't talk to the great Kali right now. You are not on his level. That's because everybody compares him to him. But again, he is definitely not on Andre's level. Hell no. Uh, Andre was something special that you had to have been there to witness. Like, uh, us, three, us three can't really relate to that, but people back in the 80s, hell yeah, they can. Okay. Or longer ago. I can't get it. I think that Omos is better than him. And, like, you just watch people. You, like, with Braun Strowman, he left the car. That was easy. Yeah. He is li He is literally a standard giant. Yeah, nothing special. Nothing unique about him. It's like, oh, he's a giant. It's like, yeah, with, he's a giant. It's like with Big Show, he could KO you, you to Mars. He could choke slam you. He could literally spear you to Narnia. He could elbow drop you in his youth. Whereas Omos, he can't do any of that. Kane, in his prime. Could do a drop kick. He can torture you. He yeah. Can yeah. He he can he can do a flying clothesline. Undertaker, greatest big man in the history of this in this sport. And I stand by that. He can dive through the ropes. He can leap off the ropes. He can literally fly through the air and clothesline you. He can choke slam you. He can leg drop. 
drop you. He can get you in Emma Mason missions. He can have a life go out. He is so versatile that Omos, he doesn't even hold a candle to any of them. Yeah. At least with Andre, he was an attraction for the time. At least with Carly, he won the World Heavyweight. He won the World Heavyweight title. This guy, he's not done jack. Exactly. And then with Lesnar, he can do a freaking leap leapfrog from out of nowhere. Yeah. And he can do a shooting star press. Well, before he got concussed. But, but in his youth in OVW, he could. Yeah, that's kind of a shame, to be honest. Yeah, he did. He, came, he gave himself a concussion. Quite a bad one as well. So, yeah. And that was in a match with Kurt Angle. I don't care about Omos. He is not entertaining. I Every time he's on screen, I just look away or I play on my phone. I just don't care, okay? There you go. I don't care. I mean, I only have to, I only have to watch the stuff because I spectate this garbage now. So I've got to. So I put myself through this trauma pretty much every week, watching the clips. Yeah. Anyway, moving on to a match that isn't any better either, but has a better chance to steal the show, if it's what I think it is. Fun from last year. Oh. That's why I said not any better. Omos versus Strowman is also great, and I think Omos versus Brock Lesnar is going to be just as good, if not better. Brock is winning after an F5 to the Giant. There's no question about that. He's delusional. Bianca Belair versus Asuka is. This should have been a, this should have been a better feud. I'm just gonna put that out there, but hard to believe. Could have been so much better. Oh yes. They did the whole can they coexist type back and forth. Oh yes. Oh my god. Which is annoying. Oh yeah. Can they coexist? Even though we've seen this so like them before. Yes. Billions of times. Does it yes. Does it mean they can ever get over? Nah. People love that shit. <laughs> Yes, because we love the can we coexist storyline. We love it, so they're gonna keep doing it again they, and again and again. They really need to retire that bullshit. Excuse my language. Stupid storyline. I've never seen it. Yeah. Like, oh yeah, can they coexist? Even though they're coexisting right now. But thankfully, this match should slap, and Oscar really needs the win. I'm a huge fan of Bianca Belair. I'm a huge fan of Asuka. And I, I'm, I'm, really I'm a fan really of both, but I'm going with Asuka. I'm really glad that they brought Asuka's old gimmick back to Japan. I don't know oh, yeah. yeah, yeah kinda. That's been amazing. Well, kind of. They haven't really gone all out with her current gimmick so far, with that comic, even though they need to. Um, they could have done this build up a lot better. It's, um, who's heel, first of all? Does anybody know? Uh, uh, I guess, I don't know. <laughs> wow. That's how bad this dude is. We don't even know who the hell's selling what angle of the supposed story, in inverted commas. Like whether you think, like whether you think this match was planned or not, we don't know who's the heel. Yeah, I think it's Oscar, but I don't freaking know. They should have turned Oscar heel or someone. Like, who are we rooting for? Exactly. It's like, you know, 
I mean, we've technically already found who we're voting for, but in in storyline terms, you're right. Or the bad guy. Shout out Razor Ramon. Slash Scott Hall. Rest in peace, buddy. I wish you could be there. I can't believe it's been over a year since that guy passed away, by the way. That's just sad. That's even more interesting than this feud. That that tells you something. A, a death is attracting us more than this actual feud. I don't know. Yeah. No, and I'm sorry, guys. Listen, I, I really want Asuka to get her WrestleMania redemption because she's one of the best women wrestlers in the world, and the main roster hasn't treated her the best as of lately, and, you know, she does deserve to get a huge push again. But I don't know. I think WWE's way too obsessed with Bianca Belair, even though I love Bianca Belair. I don't know. I really, I really want Asuka to win. And it, this is the perfect time for her to win. I Hell yeah, without a doubt. This will make up for the unfortunate loss that she had against Charlotte Flair four years ago. Ever, ever, since, Asuka, ever since Asuka lost to Charlotte, she, she hasn't been the same. So this could be the perfect time for her to, you know, be like a, like a threat to the women's division again. Yeah. It's a bit like Demon Balor. With that whole redemption, pretty exactly. much. I mean, so there's a lot of that going on this WrestleMania. I mean, do you guys think Asuka will actually win? Oh, without a doubt, I, I, I'm going for it. I, I might help because, as Sammy says, WWE just loves to make love. Oh yeah. I mean, at least she can back it up, but... Well, she can back it up. <laughs> yeah, but still annoying. I mean... I mean, for the past month or two, you know, they haven't done much character development for Bianca because we, of, you know, how stale the feud has been, but... But I, I think this match will be great. What do you think? Uh, uh, honestly, I'm just going to come right out and say it. Me and Daredevil would book a better feud than Dudu did for these two. I mean, hell, anybody would book a better feud than Dudu did for these two. Yeah, exactly. Sammy, Sammy, I'm going to give you, give you freedom to book this feud. How would you do it? Oh, I would have done so much more than they did. Yeah. Listen, with Oscar's Tonic gimmick, they could have done, like, some Bray Wyatt shit or something. Oh, well, actually, no, I'm just playing, guys. Ha <laughs> Well, I don't know. I don't think it will. We'll get a segment with Bray. I'll say that much. And we'll probably get LA Knight versus Lashley. And Knight should win that, by the way. Do you guys think that Asuka could be like, the, like a female fiend with this current gimmick? Yeah, I could see that. Maybe. If if could we pull the thing, go out and book her, right? I don't know. I feel like they can actually pull the trigger on Oscar this time, but you know, I just really hope they do. So yeah, yeah. I'm going up. I'm going up Oscar winning. So you're gonna stick with your gut. Yeah. yeah. As am I. Yeah, yeah I'm going up Oscar. I'm sorry, Bianca. You already had your time, but <laughs> go away. Bianca, your time is up. Oscar's time is now. Well, you can't see her. The... What's her name? Uh, the Empress of the Mile. Well, yeah, but I'm about her actual name in this case. Kano. Kano's time is now. 
doesn't really work, but whatever. I tried. I tried, guys. But believe me, that 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 don't don't go crazy in the in the comments. Believe me, I tried. Hey, I'm on about the people watching this. Not name you and him. Oh, dude, that's how a video works. <laughs> Bianca, I love Bianca, but Bianca, your time is up, and Oscar, your time is now. That's all I have to say. Oh, no. Exactly. Probably works a little better, but whatever. Anyway, moving on. We've gone about, we've gone on about this for a little longer than needed now. Question: How long is your video going? Uh, an hour and thirty-one minutes. It's a match that sounds good on paper, and I'm sure it's going to be a good match when it actually does happen, but this has got to be the worst buildup I've ever seen for a major title match in WrestleMania history. I don't care about this at all. I just don't, and that Indeed. is on Triple H and WWE because this was very bad booking, and I can see why Ronda Rousey is unhappy with Triple H and his booking in that division. Well, to be fair, nobody, nobody likes Ron, Ronda, so who cares? Oh yeah, but I'm about now, because you don't even put the effort in. Like, he really does not. Sorry to be the bearer of bad news, guys, but she doesn't. I think just recently, Shane has talked about Shayna. Not Shayna, talked about Ronda. <laughs> Shayna talked about Shayna. <laughs> and said what? Fair enough. I mean, it doesn't mean anything, so it doesn't matter. You don't mean anything. There you go. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Anyways, Asuka is probably going to become the new champion. That is my prediction. <laughs> Similar to the men, W. Yeah, you did. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Ronda and Shane are probably going to win. There has been no feud to this. Nothing will stem from it. So moving on. This is the biggest match in history. Oh yeah, this will be like this will be like. I'm trying to think of a WrestleMania match now. Uh, no, we gotta think more womenish or feminist. Feminist. That's it. That's the one. This will be like Trish Stratus versus Mickey James. It's gonna throw the the roof off the place. I'm only joking. It's gonna do the exact opposite. And only one of them was a Vince idea. Yeah, because these two aren't real tag teams. I'm only watching this match because I want to see my girl Liv Morgan. Okay, fair enough. That's good enough for me. Uh, I was gonna say Ronda and Shayna. Although Liv will probably get jobbed out. So, yeah. at this point, who the hell cares? Yeah. Basically getting tortured. It's like the butt of the joke now. For fan fiction. <laughs> or fan art in other words. Which I look at a lot. In my spare time. Sometimes. Because it's fun. It's definitely a lot funner than this match is going to be. I could literally be looking at fan art now. And I would be none the wiser. Yeah. I feel bad because they're doing they're doing Liv Morgan wrong. Yeah. And you could say that for a lot of these women, because all of them are well talented, apart from Ronda. She hasn't really been able to prove it lately because she hasn't been bothered. And don't pull that mug at me, Ronda. You know, 
what you've done wrong. Anyway. But, yeah. So, moving on, I guess. Moving on to the WWE main event. WWE is hosting a women's showcase match with four tag teams. It's going to be Liv Morgan and Raquel Rodriguez, Natalia yeah. and Shotzi, Shayna Baszler and Ronda Rousey, and Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville. Again, this is a match I absolutely don't care about at all. With that said, Ronda Rousey and Shayna Baszler are definitely going to win. And, and the, the main event of WrestleMania. The most Harry coin this. Roman Reigns retains, case closed. Um, have a good night, everyone. <laughs> that is really, really funny, but yeah. The, the most double-sided, the most double-sided match in WrestleMania history. This is gonna be like Rock versus Cena, realistically. Yeah. This is going to be the biggest WrestleMania match of the modern era. Screw last year's. That was not. Roman Reigns retain. Let's let's go home, everyone. Have a good night. <laughs> We're being done. Cody will win. Cody will win. Cody will win. Totally not biased. Because he's got to finish his story, right? Yeah. But even then, I think Triple H isn't going to be like that because Trips just sees talent as talent, no matter where they come from, because he's not. Because he's not a, because uh, he's not a, how do you look at it? He's not a, I'm not going to say hippie, but he's not a, he's not a, hmm, he, he's, how do you coin this? What's the word? Wait, what? I don't know everything. He's not a biased on core person. Unlike Vince McMahon. Exactly. Like Michael Cole said. I love that shot, by the way. It's phenomenal. It's generational. It'll be talk it will be talking about for the rest of you, me and Sammy's existence on this earth but storytelling terms it doesn't work yes yeah because roman's never there Have all the interferences you want. Have Usos get involved. Solo. Get Sammy and Owens involved. Saving it up a little bit. But in the end, have Cody win. I don't care. As long as you have him win, that's all I care about. So there you go. The feud has been freaking amazing. And where we'll go from here. Roman's reportedly going to take a leave of absence. And then we'll get Cody as a champion, which will be great. Because it's Roman Reigns. <laughs> okay, and you got Cody Rhodes. What's the point? <laughs> we are talking about Roman Reigns, okay? No, 
he wants to come on. He beat me to take the loss. That sucks. So, sorry about that. Sorry about that noise, guys. And Daredevil and Sammy. That was my bottle on my keyboard. It's not exactly great. It got melted. I think me and Daredevil are in agreement that Daredevil yeah. should take the loss and he'll be okay. Yeah, because he's, he's a made man now. Much like a Cena. Much like an Edge. Much like a Lesnar. No, Cody Rhodes is not in the same level as Roman Reigns. What? What? Okay, oh really? That's a big point. That's a big point. Those two struggle with each other. Listen, Roman Reigns is a guy that WWE has been obsessively been pushing ever since 2014. Okay? I agree with that, okay? So for the better part of nine years now, like... Alright. So this is the guy, okay? This is the guy that's carrying the company behind his back for a really long time. For three years, but he's been doing it part-time for the last few months. And he's not going to lose to an AW star. As Why a does Triple H care about that? Which is great, because then AEW goes under, which, to be honest, I wouldn't be mad about. Listen, if Cody wins, excellent. Uh, great. Hallelujah. Because, you know, it gives AEW fans hope. Okay? Okay. But they just push Roman Reigns way too hard. Yeah, but they're literally doing the same thing with Cody now, but it never gets came back. If, if Cody loses... Wow, the... The... Maybe Walter? What? M maybe Walter could dethrone him? No, I'm saying if, if Roman retains, who's gonna beat Roman? Who else is left? Th that's what I mean. Like, maybe Walter? That's if he drops the IC title. Just the hype train for him is a fever pitch. And plus, not only would Roman get the loss, but he just beat Cody's undefeated streak in half. Okay, Wait. I have one question. I have one question. Okay. So, is Vince, are Vince and Triple H fond of Cody Rhodes? I think Triple H is, and hell, I'm pretty sure Vince was. And, like, he literally brought him back. True. And he let him wrestle with a torn pack. Granted it is rest granted it is Vince McMahon. Who would let anybody walk out there even with a bro even with like one missing leg. So I don't know what that tells you. Referring to unfortunately Zach Gowan. But yeah, moving on from that. Would I say the injury derailed Cody Pitch? Yes, it did. But he fought back like a true champ. Yep. I get it, and this is the problem with this kind of debate, is because there's nobody here that knows what happened to Vince. People end up having things out and talking about it. I can't win because he's... God, this is, this is like the John Cena versus Rock of its day. Literally. Wait, really? Did we, are you watching the, debates about that? The, the, this was pretty much how it was back then. What? Back in 2012. <laughs> and best part is... Rock and Cena were real rivals in real life, whereas Cody and Roman, I don't think they are. Their rivalry in the case of it, but... Yeah. So we're probably making it even more of a crazy deal than what they are. Well, that's the, that's the point of this match. We don't know who's going to win. There's exactly. It's unpredictable. Yeah, honestly, you could have bo boxed him in the Hall of Fame this year after his performance in Hell in a Cell, and nobody would have batted a lot, batted an eye. Seriously. Uh, 
Alright, we're still going on, we're gonna go on about this, huh? I just wanna know your opinion and then we'll drop it. Ah. We've had our mini we've had our mini debate debate like fans would have wanted us to have. Cause you know fans are well Yeah, let's go with that. Wait, dead man, who do you think is they're 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 Yeah. They're uh they love to break the friendships apart. But anyway. I'm going with Cody. Are you will you be surprised if Roman retains? <laughs> no and yes. Okay, fine. I'm going with Cody, but don't be surprised if Roman retains. <laughs> oh, Bro, uh, That is a nightmare. No pun intended. Oh my lord. Hey, listen, I said I'm going for Cody. Uh, there, there. There we go. I guess we've swayed it your way. But if Cody wins, we have to agree that we're right about Cody winning. Yeah, whatever. God, this is going to be like the Roman Reigns acknowledge. Me thing. <laughs> oh man, I I'm totally gonna get double in, and my close friend involved in, in this, and all four of us. Actually, no, one, two, three, four, all five of us can watch it together. Well, not together, together, but you know. Yeah. Both nights. Uh, and we'll get the party music out. And we're going to have a wild night. Yes, and we'll be having our wild debate. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Before the Cody and Roman match happens, we're going to have that debate. Yeah, we're going to... Yeah, we're going to have those wild parties and wild... Uh, well, yeah. And wild songs. The only difference is, we're not going to be drunk while doing it. <laughs> well, you never know with me. I could be drunk. Oh my god. <laughs> <sighs> I wish I could say the same. I think you should say the same. Ah, uh, good idea. It is Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes for the undisputed WWE Universal Heavyweight Championship. I think we all know who's going to win here. It's time to move on from Roman Reigns. We've got to accept the truth. It is time for a new champion, and Cody Rhodes is it's going time to for a win new this face match. of the company. He's going to hold the titles high in the air. However, that is not going to be the last thing we see. At exactly. The show. That is not the ending of WrestleMania. I oh, that oh, 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 oh. Orton. oh, 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 oh. Sorry about this, guys. Because of our bit bickering, we forgot about Randy Orton. He could have an appearance. Uh, at Mania and return in this match or after it. Feel like Mania would be better. What do you think, Sammy? Um, I don't know what Randy could do at WrestleMania though. If he comes back. Well, he doesn't. He doesn't really have to have a match. But what does he do? Just stand there? <laughs> well, he, he 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 could all KO Cody or do something like that. Okay, I've got a better idea. Have have Randy congratulate Cody, and then Cody have a speech, and then bring Randy out there, only for for Randy to do what he did to Edge and turn his back on his, him. No, that's something they can say for Raw. That's what I mean for Raw. Okay. Because I said had had have Randy embrace Cody on Mania. And then do what I said on Raw. Okay. That's a good idea. Okay. Yeah. So it'll be a bit like what happened in the Rumble, where where Edge and where Edge and Orton got back together, and then Edge and then and then Orton double crossed him the night after, nearly putting him in retirement. Well. 
it's a bit different because he's obviously the champion, isn't he? So, I don't know whether you want to do that. Hmm. I mean, to be fair, if it's going to be 2009, Randy, like his wife's uh, Instagram posts suggests, and by wife I mean Randy's, then at this point, at, so at this point, you could go out all out with it. I don't know. We'll see. I'm. I. I'm not married, and I'm very happy about that. No, I did not. No, I did not. I was on about Randy's wife. Goodness sakes, Daredevil. Move the hell on! Like Plana said, move the hell on! Well, he, he didn't say it in those words, but still. Will make his return and RKO Cody Rhodes, and that will start their feud. It's the smartest thing to do because you got to really think about it. There's going to be a lot of eyes on WrestleMania, and you want them to tune into Raw, and that is how you do it. Anyways, that is it for the video, guys. Let me know your predictions in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next video. And that puts this uh, predictions video to a close and to a rest, which I definitely need. <laughs> and uh, yeah, based on that, guys, if you guys enjoyed this predictions video and debate and uh, rant and tearing apart soups of certain superstars, then like, comment, subscribe, share the videos, fake videos. If could get out to 200 likes, I think was the goal. Goal, then that'll be great. And yeah, ciao guys. Sa Sammy, Daredevil, do you want to say bye? Um, Roman retains. Uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> well, I guess it wasn't gonna last forever. Catch you later, guys. Let's hope that Sammy acknowledges his American nightmare.